you all to another video of Ajax security systems. Uh, today we are going to see about uh, door protector and there is a uh, two versions of door protector available. One is like door protector and door protector plus. So here you can see I have uh, two different model of uh, doors and opening direction uh, sensors. Like uh, this can be installed in any uh, places where you want direct opening like main doors or windows or even in wall doors or vault uh, doors. Uh, this kind of doors protect will be much more helpful so the main uh, advantage of this door protect is like uh, it's a battery operator it connects with the main hub uh, which is uh, which which can, which can connects up to 1200 meter in line of sight and uh, this uh, this can be also connected with any third party wired sensors if you have uh, any third party wired uh, normally closed when uh, magnetic door sensors and this is also battery operated, which comes up to seven years of battery life. That is one of the main advantages of the systems. And this is door product plus. The plus versions always come with the black boxes. The main difference between those are like this has an inbuilt accelerometer, which uh, detects uh, I mean shocks and vibrations. So uh, this is also battery operated, which comes up to five years of battery because uh, due to the uh, addition of accelerometer in this uh, devices. And uh, we'll just get into the, how to uh, set up this particular device uh, in the application. Here I have a door sensor. So this is actually the detector and this is the magnet. There is two different types of magnets are available. One is big magnet and another is a small magnet which we can use it for in a smaller places like windows or anything. The major difference will be like this detects, uh, um, big magnet detects uh, with the opening of more than 2 cm and the small magnet detects with the more, more opening of 1 cm. So to add this in your application, just uh, go to your uh, Ajax applications in the uh, mobile phone. And just go to add device in the thing, this add device. And uh, before that, yes, you need to add a room. So I'll just type this as a uh, uh, Ajax uh, studio, maybe. Okay. And save. Okay. So just go to add device, add device and name it as a, a door protect okay a room will be ajax studio and device qr code which is located at the back of the uh, detector just scan that yeah so and add and before that it tells you to turn on the device yes that's it so it is added to the hub i mean direct added to the hub and you can also see it in the application itself so uh, once you go inside, you can find the status of uh, the I mean detector and what how what is the status of it, and all those things you can find the application itself. So you can also and at the back you can see there is a, a output port where you can connect a third party wired sensor also into the detector without using the X, uh, with X magnet into it. Okay. So once you go into the uh, uh, device you can see the settings of it this is actually a door product plus which detects motion i mean uh, opening as well as uh, the uh, uh, shocks and vibrations so here in the settings you can go into the uh, you can see all the parameters in the application itself and you can go uh, into the further settings to arm um, or uh, determine how the uh, detection should perform even it should direct shocks or tilt or any kind of thing you can just set it in the uh, application itself so even you can see shock sensor sensitivity you can uh, uh, you can just uh, change it to high or anything and uh, tilt sensor more than 5 degree or uh, 10 degrees any kind of tilt because door power plus can be uh, armed uh, using a uh, windows open conditions as well uh, so uh, anything can be triggered using uh, this uh, particular uh, i mean any opening can be directed using this particular devices so you can see uh, now i have just configured this into the particular door uh, when i arm the system so you can see all the notifications will be more uh, will be uh, loaded in the i mean uh, a mobile i mean application itself so if any, anyone tries to open the lid or close the lid you will be getting a notification in the uh, app itself the same way uh, before that you have to make sure that the uh, app permission is allowed in your uh, app notification bar 
so if you if it is not active you will you will not be getting the application uh, notification in your mobile phone so better make sure that it should be uh, um, uh, should be allowed permission in, for the notifications to get the notification in the not mobile phone okay and so for example right now i have a door sensor here so i'm going to arm the system using the application yeah so armed by august it's my name and uh, so if any opening is detected for example if like the now the door sensor is open we'll be getting the alarm with the uh, opening door again so that's simple the it is so whenever it is closed or open will, so now the door is closed you can see here so i'll just check here so now we can, we can also see shock and activity is being detected so everything you will be getting the move in the in the fraction of seconds you know shock is right i just moved it up you know you can see the shock is right in the door correct that's how the system works in a, a highly efficient manner so i'll just disarm it and that's it this is how uh, you add a door product sensors to the hub and how is the configuration the application that's how we do it thank you so much